that's patch and this one's right here that's patch and this one's right here and that's a patch and that one's right there i don't know how the holes got in it but the feathers were coming out of it our family has been on this farm for 80 years now and we hang on to things that definitely holds true for the gear we use and the clothes we wear I want my kids to know when something breaks, the first thought is how do I fix it, not how do I get a new one. Our farm is Studio Hill. We're a holistic, pasture-raised farm where we do sheep, chickens, turkeys, and pigs. All day, every day, we're out here working and our minds are four generations down the road. We're thinking about all the things we can pass forward. If you're able to find something that works, you stick with it. The things that last stay here, you know, especially when it's tied to one place, one piece of land. There are pictures in the house of my wife's grandparents and great-grandparents, and we're still wearing their clothes today. What we're trying to do is just rebuild for the long haul and for generations that aren't even here yet. The gear we use is absolutely a part of that. We expect stuff to get stained and torn and you just go on fixing it, patching it, and letting it get used, show its use. It's part of the life it has. Chicken leader. This is Izzy's go-to jacket. It was passed down through a bunch of kids out in Idaho, and I'm sure it's got more life beyond the next kid, too. I grew up wearing this stuff, and it just stands the test of time. We don't believe in just consuming stuff and throwing it away. We want it to be meaningful, to have real use, and to last as long as physically possible. The only way to teach these values is to live them.